Hello friends of the beautiful image. Today I want to speak a little bit about different images that we can find in the internet, how they are being presented, how they are being made available. And in this context, as you can see here, I want to compare different stock agencies like Shutterstock, iStock Photo, Dreamstime, Alamy, Getty Images, Offset and Stocksy. There may be an interesting information for people who are looking for images in the net as well as for people who think about maybe to become a contributor by sharing their images to the worldwide community. In the beginning I want to give you one more hint. When you use Google and you look for images then you get into a menu which enables you to do image search directly by uploading a photo from your hard disk or just by entering any name for images. Let's say for example we enter the term images and then we are being confronted automatically with the vast number of images that are present on this planet. There is no end to it. But basically, this is like a selection of preferred images by people which have been looked at several hundreds or thousands times. And that's why probably they appear here on the top of the Google image search. Let's get into something more specific. When we look for body, spirit, nature, we may be confronted with a completely different choice of images. Okay, let's go into detail. We quit the Google image search. When you first time arrive in Shutterstock, you may see one of their popular images in the background and you have this kind of search bar, which will give you access to the vast number of images that you can choose from iStock photo, very similar, gives one image in the background and this huge uh, search bar on top of the photography. Dreamstime is a little bit more slim, but still the principle stays the same. You can just search through 42 million different images being offered by Dreamstime. When you look at Alamy, I don't need to repeat, it's basically the same. Maybe they have downstairs here some different categorizations but uh, the principle is very similar. In Getty Images, the design has a little different outcome. And also, when once you scroll down upstairs on the screen, you have the search bar offset. It's one more of the younger image agencies. They have an image slider as a welcome and the search bar on the top left. This one, together with Stocksy, they have arrived recently on the market and they offer a more individual approach. That's why I took in these two newer stock agencies, Stocksy and Offset, to also explain that this stock market is constantly changing and getting new faces. But on the other hand, many of those agencies are also connected as will be shown in the following sections of the video. So let's look for the word keys. I will just copy it so I don't have to retype it all the time. Shutterstock offers here, as you can see, the same principle as it is also implicated in Google search already. That means if you're looking for something specific, you can just enter directly a photograph instead of a keyword into the search bar and then images which are similar will be proposed accordingly. So Shutterstock here comes up with a lot of vector images about keys and also some computer graphics like three-dimensional objects and then very fast proposes the car keys in reference to that term. And even if we scroll down, we may discover also some more 
artistic approaches to the topic. You should understand that this was page one of 84,030 different pages in reference to the word key. On the next page, it's a little bit similar to what we've seen before, but when we go down and enter, for example, page 5000 instead of 2, then you will already recognize that there are a lot of different graphics also available in reference to this topic. Because key doesn't only mean the key in the conventional sense of the word, it also means, for example, encrypting data on a DVD or inside a computer. It has this association of security. Also, computer keys may be connected to this topic. Okay. In iStock photo, when we enter the word keys, we have in the beginning a little bit different outcome. Like, for example, we don't have so much vector graphics in the beginning. First, we are really being presented with some different photographs of keys. Also, keys nicely arranged at a wooden board. Keys hanging in the air somehow. Old keys. And here I would already say that this computer graphic of the key is very similar to what we saw on Shutterstock before when we started the search. Let's just go back to the first page and scroll down a little bit. I may even assume that this image here may have been contributed by the same contributor as that one on that page. Let's go to Dreamstime keys. Basically it's a little similar outcome but we already have some piano keys uh, in our selection on the first page. Let's scroll down a little bit. And here what can happen sometimes if people give certain words as keywords to their images then you may arrive with a photograph of a waterfall in the forest instead of really finding the key to what you're looking for. LME, a UK based stock company, has a little bit more artistic photograph of piano keys in the very beginning. Probably this is one of the very popular images and that's why they propose it right here. And then when we scroll down we have a lot of keys and piano keys, so probably they like to play the piano a lot. Let's go to Getty Images and insert keys. Hit Enter. Here one more. We have piano keys and we automatically entered into the realm of the creative images. So probably, therefore, those images have a higher aesthetic appearance. Scrolling back up again, let's click on all. So basically this is how we come to Getty Images when we look for keys. Offset, a newer more artistic stock image company, will give us the following results in reference to keys. So we have some beautiful close-up of keys and a much let's say, a much more artistic approach to this topic. I'll scroll up again. By the way, Offset is somehow a newborn child of Shutterstock, so there is a relation between those companies. And the same also with Stocksy. When we look for keys, I can tell you that Stocksy had been founded by the former founder of iStock Photos. He sold iStock Photos in 2006 and then he came back with uh, Stocksy to the market to bring a more individual approach of photographs to the stock universe. And also he wanted that the creators of the images are being paid better and get a higher reward from the artistic work that they are contributing to the worldwide community. In the same way, since we are already talking about it, 
iStock photo has been bought by Getty Images. So basically these two guys here are very close with each other and also sometimes images from iStock photo may enter the Getty Images universe. But still Getty Images decided to leave iStock photo as a separate uh, site functioning and they did not completely integrate the whole iStock photo into their Getty Images universe. Let's go back to Shutterstock now and let's do a combination of two terms, keys and tree. So Shutterstock understands immediately that keys and a tree can be combined. For example, here is some very beautiful vector graphics which have a key connected to the branch of a tree and a bird around. So that looks already much different from the first welcoming. And here we have also some couples with keys and uh, car keys passed on. They have also some photographs of an island. So obviously someone has been putting the wrong keywords to his images and Shutterstock was too lazy to look uh, for the correctness of those keywords. This is also one of the big problems of these huge whale fish on the market like Shutterstock or iStock photo saying that when we look for keys here or keys tree then we may really find a beautiful image like a key made from trees but on the other hand we may also arrive to some kind of images which not necessarily fit totally the demand that we were looking for. But sorry to be honest even that one here this image contains a tree and also a key. When we go to dreams time, I'll scroll back up again, enter our keyword and look for what we get. Then interestingly enough, we have a lot of different images popping up comparing to the first two agencies. There is also some kind of abstract vector graphics downstairs, which contain the trees, but not the keys. But still there will be a lot of images to choose from Let's say here, for example, even by the combination of keys and trees, we have 16 different pages to look for. Let's check page 8, which is the half. Oops, sorry, now they propose to sign up for free. But on page 8, we still have some keys left, some vector graphics with keys, some leaf, which probably doesn't resemble a key so much, but uh, even this little boy here is playing the piano keys and there is a little Christmas tree in the background so why not we still get some useful results. Clicking on LME we enter our keywords keys tree has a surprisingly different proposition okay there is tree embraced by a key there is someone opening a car and a tree is standing inside the image but also they have already a lot of abstract images which are not so much connected to the idea of a key let's see how much other images they can offer in reference to this image search down here they say search results for tree keys there is 2,381 images being proposed. So when we go, for example, to page number 10, then we have to admit that already not all of them have so much to do with trees and keys, besides that there is an island to be seen in a beautiful water ground. Okay, let's go back and scroll up again. Let's go to Getty Images. Getty Images is much more aesthetic here. This is probably also the reason why they didn't integrate all the stock photography from iStock Photo into their own archive, which can be described like that. Clients with higher aesthetical expectations may most probably go directly to Getty Images, where they also have to pay more for the images themselves that they would buy. 
instead of, for example, Shutterstock or iStock Photo. Looking for keys tree in offset. Yeah, this is the thing. They are curated much more strongly. They have the more beautiful images for this reason, but the context of having a key and a tree inside the image is not so much given by all those beautiful images that we can see here. And also you should know that buying an image in offset in the sense of price differs a lot from those very big fishes on the stock market as we saw already before. Let's now go to Stocksy and a keys tree and look for what we get. Okay, they also have a lot of beautiful images but not so much keys inside. Let's modify this search and exchange the tree by a woman. Then we already have a clear result in Shutterstock. That means, okay, one more advertising. We have a woman with car key and we have some couples with keys and a door being locked or probably we cannot enter the door because we don't have a key. So it's about security. This is clearly understandable. A lot of stuff in reference to keys and women. When we go to page number 340, for example, then we are still being offered the same type of clean stock photography content with basically some more artistic images in between. On iStock Photo, let's look for the keys woman. And even on page 69, we fit very much the idea of the content we were looking for. Dreamstime, the dreamy Dreamstime, has some very fancy people shopping in front of a keyboard of a computer. Basically, they're walking on the spacebar. Let's scroll down a little bit more. There is some vector images in between and there is not too much pages being offered on Dreamstime. Let's say 23. We are still being confronted with images that make sense in this context. For example, here, a beautiful lady with the keys in the background. Let's scroll up again and go to Alamy. We always have to wait a little bit for the images to show up. Okay. There is a woman which receives the key, but also a man inside. So not always we get what we really expected at the first glance, but there's a lot of images who kind of fit the context. Getty images, one more. Keys woman. So we have even the hand of a woman playing the piano keys on the second position. That's nice. We have a woman looking for her keys. We have a very beautiful woman with keys as necklace. And also some kind of vector graphics with keys in the head of this woman. Probably we can open the head of this woman by using one of the keys that may fit, but it looks like it's a different lock, so probably it won't fit so well. When we look for keys, woman in offset, then we have some interesting pink vector graphics and also women preparing food with the mixer. Some piano keys, some beautiful blonde lady, some woman which had been penetrated by an object which looks like the key on the background, but in the foreground actually it seems to be more like the top of a scissor. So they have very artistically seen, they have very interesting images, but not so much in the context of what we were looking for. Let's go to Stocksy. 
And here we have some few images with keys, but basically we are more confronted with beautiful women. So let's say like this. If you like beautiful images with a contemporary image language, then you're perfectly all right at offset or stocksy. But if you need to work with an easy to understand image language, then you may feel home more at Getty, LME, Dreamstime, iStock Photo or Shutterstock or similar stock agencies because there is hundreds of agencies on the market as you may want to find out. Let's put more an abstract term like for example Islam. So Shutterstock offers a lot of vector graphics in the beginning. As you can see, this is an idealistic approach of this religion. It's almost like sunshine, sundown, sunset, some nice architecture and those beautiful ornamental patterns that have been created during the blossom of that religion before it went down. When we go to iStock photo with the same term, we do not have so much vector graphics in the beginning, but the problem is that this religion doesn't really allow images to appear. Dreams time comes up really like a dream. It shows the most beautiful architecture of what had been created here. We see some nice ladies looking through the tiny gap that they are allowed to look through in their cloth. And we also have the writings, most probably the Quran, in a beautiful light. When we look for... Oh, this was interesting. Here was a lady trying to swallow a fish. Anyway, in Alami, when we look for Islam, then it looks already a little bit more violent and rough. So we have a completely different appearance comparing to the Dreamstime side, for example. Let's compare them one more. I'll scroll up here. Dreamstime look like this. LME like that. And when we go to Getty Images, The Islam images come more from an individual approach. They have some kind of beauty which they want to present. They want to give a positive image of that religion. And here we have some Islam fans praying on their carpet. Let's go to Offset. As I told already, this is a Shutterstock project. We have one more, all those people on their carpets and some nice architectural shots. Oh, even here, I think that's a mosque that had been built by a female architect in Turkey, as far as I remember. So they have some really beautiful images. Whereas in Stocksy, We first see the beautiful ornamentations, which are most probably inspired by the copts from the centuries before. So Stocksy is here very convincing in the sense of the aesthetic aspect, but also a little bit idealistic. Let's change the topic. War. Shutterstock is having a very fantastic view of the war, which means basically inspired by the Hollywood cinema. And we may not even really find anything that may be in the first hand being associated with war, besides some archival footage on the first page. I'll scroll up again and move over to iStock Photo. 
Here the first war images appearing have a little bit more realistic touch but also they are somehow a little bit too romantic. We see even here a photographer which is probably a war photographer. So this gives us an impression of uh, what it can be like when you're really in the war. Let's go back to dreams time. War is here more seen from the yeah, it really has a different approach. There are some fancy images, some kind of Asian ethnics in front of the American flag. Obama connected to the topic. And some people shooting other people. A guy with a gas mask. And also some older memories of the war. There's basically 2600 different pages on the war topic. In LME it looks like that. Very interesting. There are the smart guys. Let's go to Getty Images. Put war. It takes a little while. This is some kind of beautiful fancy people playing and I wonder how those images are connected to the topic of war but therefore it's Getty Images here we see some kind of war monument looking for war in offset gives us at least 409 different results and they are quite beautiful and they also quite fit the topic very much and I suppose the same to happen in Stocksy. Yes, so they have 348 images, almost the same number like offset. By the way, in most of these agencies, like let's say for example on Dreamstime, you can deactivate the royalty free function and then you get the pure editorial content. One more blown in in advertising here. And when you see the editorial images, then you start to understand that this is really different, the approach of royalty-free images, which means basically that you can use the images for any purpose of advertising and so on, whereas on the other hand, editorial images can only be used in editorial context. And this is also mostly the images which have people inside. For example, if you don't have any property release for the private ground that you're doing photographs on, or if you don't have any model release with this beautiful lady, then you cannot sell the photos otherwise. Now we are back to the royalty-free search. Basically, you can search for royalty-free or editorial images separately in all those agencies. But let's do one more step. And remember, for example, the war in Ukraine. So here, even though you are in the general search function, like we did all the time before, we immediately get some images which are very precise in reference to the topic. And this makes sense. Shutterstock shows us here the situation, as we remember from the recent years before. When we go to iStock Photo, and put the war in Ukraine, then we see, oh ho, this photo, it has been done in Ukraine that we already saw before, but we have now a clear geographical reference inside the images, but also some kind of vector obstructions. Looking in dreams time for the war in Ukraine, we have some very strange old flags and some pistols and some castles and some historical images. So it seems like once you're looking for those kind of real aspects of life, then you will be much more pleased by the results of Shutterstock and iStock images. When you look for war in Ukraine, then at least you get some beautiful images of Ukraine. But as I already said, LME were smart enough to avoid this difficult topic of war in their archives because it may be that some of their clients may be living in a country which is in war with another one and so 
they escape the necessity which is always connected to a photographer doing a photograph of something, which means to take position oneself in reference to the action that is being portrayed in front of the lens. Let's go to Getty Images. I'll search up one more. Getty Images has very beautiful images in reference to the war in Ukraine. Look, the doggies and the cats, the beautiful old train somewhere in the middle of nowhere, some woman diving up from downstairs. So basically, this is images which have more an abstract approach in reference to this topic. I expect the same thing to happen also in Offset, but even more sorry, they don't have any image to offer because it's a very specific topic for them. They can only choose by the few photographs of their selected curated uh, photographers which contribute to them. So now I will change the topic completely and go to something very tasty. Cheesecake. So when you are creating a advertising, then for sure you will find what you're looking for when you go to Shutterstock. I'll scroll down here just to give you a number. This is 480 with cheesecake inside and I think there is not so much abstract ones. Let's go to 450. Yeah, there is still cheesecakes in the image stock of Shutterstock. Now we go to iStock photo and here also a lot of cheesecake more in the production process but basically also we can assume that some of those guys may offer their images on both image companies. When we go to dreams time then somehow I may assume that the cheesecakes look a little bit more tasty. At LME we are also back to the business and they have some very nice images of cheesecakes. Mmm, yummy yummy. Even a woman which really likes to eat cheesecake so much. And I'm sure that also Getty Images will offer us some tasty cheesecake to choose from. Yeah, and they are more artistic, a little bit more abstract. But basically what you type is what you get. And then looking for offset, again they have a much more artistic approach than what we saw in the big fishes before. And this is the unique quality of these smaller agencies because they have a stronger curation, they have a better curators. And so the results that you may find in either offset or stocksy may please you more if you want to create something beautiful and special. In the last moment I just want to turn it around and instead of cheesecake we look for the biological product of it. Oh sorry I didn't mean a shirt. I meant this one here. And surprisingly enough we have a lot of abstraction. It's not so concrete like the cheesecake at the beginning but when we scroll down we see a little bit more what we were kind of looking for in the pure sense of the word but it also looks like the contributors are already trying to get creative uh, in trying to avoid to show what this search function is really looking for. I assume that also iStock photo will do the same but they have even some more disgusting photographs so there is no limit for the creativity of contributors in the context of this topic. When we go away from the cheesecake to dreams time, then no question, the imagination of our photographers cannot be worse than that. But on the other hand, those photographs really hit the point of what we actually don't really want to see. I look for the same in Alamy now. Hmm. A little kitty. 
some people on the boat, some beautiful glossy photographs in big size and small size as we can see. Getty images again. There is mainly some doggies. This is how the photographers try to get around it. They have even some beautiful, lovely biologic product in the grass. Offset has some nice boats. And Stoxy shows the reality of what we were looking for in more abstract ways, more artistic ways. For example, even if your tools are broken or when some kind of old Greek sculpture doesn't really like the pigeons. Last but not least, we will compare the ecstasy. On Shutterstock, okay, probably there is some leftovers of the techno wave. We have some erotic approach and we have some ladies swallowing pills. And we have some close-ups of very interesting medicaments here on the first page. So this hits very much the topic of a chemical event. Some lady dancing here through Russia. Moscow. Whereas when we go to iStock photo and enter ecstasy, we see some more of the smiling people and the smiling doggies. And we have also much more the abstract understanding that you may have when you think of the word ecstasy, which is basically um, ecstatic joy or something like in that sense. So here actually iStock photo and Shutterstock are very much different on the first page. Let's go to Dreams Time. Here someone is trying to sell the same lady with the pill that was also offered on Shutterstock before, if I remember right. We have a man in the water, in a little artificial waterfall. We also have the drugs topic and this is pretty much in this context. We have also some abstract CGI images and some comic paintings. But also we see a more classical approach to this topic of ecstasy in dreams time. Let's look for Alamy and ecstasy. Here we see that even the chocolate can provoke some kind of ecstatic states in our minds. So that's quite objective. We have some freaky alien here, I don't know for what reason. And we have also something like the devil most probably standing around. And then when we scroll down, the more we scroll down, we start to get into some kind of voodoo stuff and some fancy images made from, no, it's not coffee bones. It seems to be also some kind of chemical product. And we have also some classical documentary photographs of images. Let's see what Getty Images is offering. Okay, they go much more into the emotion and not so much into the chemical industry, which is very nice. So most probably they are much closer to uh, more wider understanding of the terms that you enter into their search bar. Checking offset here. We don't find anything because, as I already said, their archive is somehow limited. And checking Stoxy, it may be the same. Yes, we have a clear answer, zero results for ecstasy. And this is probably also perfectly all right, because in this vast universe of images, it can also be nice sometimes to see just nothing. I hope you liked this little journey through the world of images. This was for sure nothing like a general overview. The time was much too short, but I hope you started to get an idea 
of how some of the stock agencies on the market are trying to position themselves against their competitors. I will go into more detail in the following videos. So whenever I'll touch stock photography, I will get back to you when you now just decide to subscribe to my channel, which is a lot about visuals and fine arts and how to understand and optimize your workflow and how to discover the true mystery of imagery. Click like if you like it and don't forget to come back to the scene.